Hey what's up, what's going on guys? Hope you're all having a great day. So today I decided to make this video to show you the differences between the two uh, email automation softwares that I use. So the first one is ActiveCampaign and the second one is Aweber. I'm going to show you the differences, I'm going to make a list a comparison between the features, the price, what they can do, what they cannot do and uh, let's just get this started. So um, this is how the main page of Active Campaign looks like. So this is it. It has a modern design, has this uh, material design, and then Aweber is a little bit more simple. And then, but they have been around for longer. They have been around for 21 years. So they started in 1998. And then, uh, I personally like Active Campaign over Aweber, but I'm going to show you why I use both at the end of this video. So stick around. When it comes to price, Active Campaign costs nine dollars per month if you're paying yearly, and Aweber costs nineteen dollars per month. Uh, up to 500 subscribers. So Active Campaign and Aweber uh, for the basic plan have up to 500 subscribers. And then when you go a thousand, two thousand, the, the price goes up. So um, Active Campaign uh, charges you nine dollars per um, if you're paying yearly, and then if you're paying monthly, it's uh, fifteen dollars per month. The second thing that we're going to compare is automations and um, Automations are way more developed in Active Campaign, and in Aweber we only have two triggers. So when somebody subscribes to the list, and then when a tag is applied, then this automation starts to work. So this is, it's gonna send the first message, and this, the uh, second one, the third one, as many as you have in your campaign. So in Aweber, uh, automations are called campaigns, and in uh, the, uh, in Active Campaign, they are called automations, and um, you, you can see here, Active Campaign has way more triggers um, for pretty much anything you can think of, and um, Aweber only these two. So, Active Campaign is a clear winner here. The third one is tagging. So tagging is limited in Aweber, and then advanced in active campaign so in uh, Aweber you can apply uh, tags when somebody clicks a message so you can uh, tag them like um, interested or engaged so that you know they click that message but in uh, active campaign you, you also have a variety of tags so if email marketing and segmenting your list is important then it would be um, active campaign would be a way better choice then when you're integrating with ClickFunnels, you can select the tag from ClickFunnels. So when you're adding a subscriber, then you can you know, import it with the tag already. To show you an example, here I am in my um, funnel. Here, this is an opt-in page where you collect data about your leads. And then if we go to settings integrations and we choose Aweber, so you see the only action you can do is integrate existing form and then you just choose the list. But if we're choosing active campaign, it's gonna give us more options. So we can add to a list with tag. So if we're gonna choose a list here, then we can type in the tag um, from ClickFunnels. So it's gonna be imported with tag already, which is really helpful if you have multiple lead magnets and then the next thing we're going to look at is beginner friendly. So beginner friendly, I think Aweber is more beginner friendly than Active Campaign. Um, it's e really easy to use. So if you don't have e email marketing experience, you can start with Aweber. Also, if you're going to do some shady things, it's better to start with Aweber because Active Campaign is for more serious marketers so they're gonna shut you down if you do anything that is not according to the policies the next thing is gonna be webinar support there is really popular integration which is called webinar jam and you can use it with Aweber and active campaign as well but again with tagging 
you're gonna have more possibilities with active campaign they give you uh, options to tag people based on whether they attended your webinar or not how much did they watch and um, it's really helpful then the next one is CRM so if you know what CRM is it's customer relationship management so if you if a customer relationship is really important for your business then um, Active campaign allows you to uh, have this um, uh, interface where you can see more data about your contacts and schedule different things and um, appointments and stuff like this. So um, Aweber doesn't support this. They they only do email marketing. And another thing that Active campaign does is uh, SMS marketing. So if you are collecting phone numbers or really useful in um, real estate but it can be used in uh, any business if you need to send people messages or even if they attend your webinar you can send them an SMS a reminder to attend your uh, webinar or to just schedule an appointment so active campaign has uh, this integration in but it's not in the basic plan you're gonna need to upgrade and then the last thing we're going to look at is email editing experience which I think um, in both this um, email automation softwares um, the email editing experience is pretty easy but some marketers would say that it's uh, easier in Aweber because it's more uh, beginner friendly and it has less features so less features uh, doesn't look bulky and then with um, Ahi campaign once you get used to it it's also really simple and easy and up to this point you may say that Ahi campaign is the number one choice there's no competition between them but I use both because I also do affiliate marketing and as you can see Ahi campaign does not allow anything related to um, affiliate marketing so if that's your niche then you'll need to use Aweber or some other autoresponder that allows affiliate marketing they're simply gonna shut you down um, especially if your first campaign is something related to affiliate marketing so I'm gonna show you an email that they sent me when I tried to do affiliate marketing with um, um, active campaign so I got they immediately placed the campaign on draft and then I got this message which says there, there can be any references to uh, specific uh, amounts of like you're generating any income online or you're working from home but you know affiliate marketing is all about working from home and promoting other people's products online so you can do that with active campaign um, I hope you find this review helpful and it's gonna help you uh, make a choice um, so many marketers choose active campaign uh, because it's really the most advanced one even those who use click funnels uh, choose active campaign over actionetics uh, in the beginning actionetics is still uh, developing actionetics is another automation software that is integrated with click funnels so i personally like active campaign but you may choose a weber uh, because it's simpler and um, once the cost go up it starts to be more uh, budget friendly to go with Aweber once you have like 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what our responder are you using. Maybe use another one. And if you like this content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tool reviews, for more information on online marketing and on growing your company and your business online and on affiliate marketing as well. So I'll see you tomorrow in another video.